Hello, my name is Paolo Torres, and I am a product and 3D designer. I work closely within the realm of product development and the design process, utilizing software and handcraft skills to turn my ideas into a reality, from sketch, digital model, mechanical engineering, stress analysis, up to a handmade prototype. I've designed for a lot of things, from defensive design, lighting design, medical design, and consumer products. In terms of work experience, I've done my first internship at Art Cardsware Incubator. Now, that's all I have as a student. So when I graduate, how can I possibly better inform myself about my career as a designer with no experience? So I went out and talked to three industry professionals about three scenarios that I have for my career as a designer within the next three years that I'll work into. My first scenario entails me going into the design world as a grad student and working my way towards being a part-time or full-time product designer in a consultancy. With that in mind, I approached Ellie Dobney, a QUT graduate and industrial designer working with an art hardware incubator. So with my interview with Ellie, some of the key points she brought up were having a realistic mindset and not expecting to get to the role you exactly want. Be realistic, so understand that when you're going into a job, you're never going to be the top monkey. If you're in, interested in automotive design, don't expect to be the leader of BMW straight away. But don't at least pursue area, like lower grade jobs within that because then you're developing, you're continually developing skills in the area you want to develop skills. You're developing. And the importance of taking opportunities and networking. Definitely be open to opportunities. So as you're meeting people along the way, don't rule them out of your network. There's a lot of people out there who already have a lot of experience that will mentor you and will take you under their wing. And the reality is the only way you learn is by learning off people who are better than you. So embrace every opportunity you have. But what if my first scenario, being a product designer consultancy, falls through? Well, I have my second scenario, being a CAD engineer, which is a 3D modeler, at a manufacturing or engineering firm. But I don't have a formal knowledge or background in engineering. So I spoke with Akon Cheng, Managing Director of Better 3D Labs, digital manufacturing expert who has worked with Chinese manufacturers, who told me that designer and engineer roles are shared to some extent because the lines between product development stages are sometimes blurred. In some companies, the designers may need to start considering the mechanical side when they are still in the early conceptual stage. And the best advice he gave me was to learn more and make your knowledge base as diverse as you can. So what makes you special might not be your profession, but your ability to bridge professions. But what if I could have an ideal life or an ideal career? Well, that's me being having a high position at a well-established company or owning my own consultancy. I spoke with Anton Ruckman, founder of Wyoming Design and with over 20 years worth of industry experience. Owning a company, especially starting out one, is not easy. When you run your own company, you need to, to wear many hats. Oh yes, definitely. When you run your own company, uh, so it's not just about creativity and design. Yeah. It's about uh, the business, it's about the communication, uh, support, uh, etc, etc, yeah. The same goes for being a design director. Uh, design director, you need to yeah. answer a lot of questions and yeah. drive a lot of projects at the same time. It's more on the business side, uh, more manage, uh, manage different projects in different stages. Uh, and of course, to be, still to be very creative. Anton also advised that any designer wanting to make a name for themselves need to meet more people, communicate more, and develop and work on your hard and soft skills, emphasizing the need for good communication with clients and expressing ideas through quick sketching and ideation. So the path towards starting a career in design is definitely going to be a long one, but with these given advices, I hope to maintain a sense of network and connectivity and have a broad skill set ready to reach my scenario goals. This is Paolo Torres.